Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A13 and today I'll show you how you can enable your power saving mode. So to get, let's get started by pulling down our notifications and locating the battery or power saving uh, mode or toggle, which for me is right over here. So once you find it, you can tap on it to immediately turn it on and that's basically all it takes. If we hold it, this will take us to the settings where we can actually customize a couple additional things of what the power saving mode does. So as you can see by the default, it has the CPU limit to 70% and brightness decrease by 10%. But we also have the last option right here, limit apps and home screen. So for maximum power saving, allow only selected apps, limit all background activities, turn off edge panel and change to dark theme. So there is much more happening with this option, but apparently it will also give you a better power saving efficiency, I guess. That's probably the best way I can describe it. So let's add this as well. And as you can see, once you turn it on, there is our power saving mode. Now, I do kind of get why it wasn't enabled by default. It's because this is the more strict power saving mode. As you can see, it removes majority of the apps. It doesn't just change to dark mode, it literally removes the wallpapers and everything. So this is like the uh, super power saving mode. Let's see if there's any exit button right here. Yep, there we go. So those are the two ways you can actually have your power saving mode enabled. And there's also a couple additional things you can do outside of the power saving mode to preserve your battery life. So if we pull down our notification panel and expand it, you can see we have a bunch of toggles right here on multiple pages. Now, there's a couple toggles which will be using your power and you might not be actually utilizing them. So just as a brief uh, uh, thing, we have Wi-Fi and mobile data. Uh, at any given moment, you're most likely using one, but not the other. So if you're outside and you're using mo mobile data, uh, disable the Wi-Fi. There's no reason for the phone to constantly scan for Wi-Fi signals around you. And same goes the other way around. So if you're utilizing Wi-Fi at home, turn off a mobile network and that will also give you a little bit of the battery. Now, these things won't like completely, you know, uh, give you like hours of battery life. So that is something that I'll point out. Uh, there is one option which will yield you several hours and that is the uh, brightness. So if you're going from like max brightness, which right now it's capping the, uh, the camera, but it's actually not that bright. But still, if you have like your brightness uh, set to very high, dropping it halfway will yield you about like three additional hours just by doing such a simple thing. But going back to a couple additional toggles which you can turn off, we have location, uh, mobile data, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and NFC if that is enabled as well, but I don't actually see it right here, so it's gonna be right here, nope. Okay, so I don't really see it. Maybe it just doesn't have it, but yeah. Uh, turning off things that you don't use is probably the best way to uh, get as much battery as you can, so there we go. So now I have basically turned off everything else, which will give me some additional battery life. Now, uh, the toggles that you can turn off right here are completely outside of the power saving mode. So if you have your power saving mode, you turn off the toggles. When you disable the power saving mode to go back to normal one, it won't re-enable the toggles. So that is something that you will have to do yourself on top. But yeah, that is basically power saving mode in a nutshell and additional steps that it can take to save your battery. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.